Hey, this is Rich. I'm the maintainer of the GT package. 0 0.7 is out, so let's see what's actually in it. Feature 1. The new word output table format for GT. With that, you could output a table to a Word document. And here's an example right here inside our studio. Uh, I'm going to load up GT. I have this example table called Exibol. We can make a GT table out of that. And if you use GT save, we could output that to a Word document. We just have to use .docx in the file extension. Feature number two is a whole new class of vector formatting functions, and they can be used outside of GT proper. All the work that was put into the column formatting functions, like format number, format scientific, now you get that outside of GT. Anywhere you want to use it, say for instance, inside of Quarto or a markdown, inside a paragraph, you want to have some format numbers or, or currency values. Now you can have that without having to hack something together with GT and its column formatters. So another new feature we have, this is feature number three, is a new opt stylized function. With that, if you have a GT table and you don't want to style it with a lot of tab options or um, tab style statements, you can just use opt stylize. You give it a style number, you give it a color, and GT just takes it away and stylizes your table with uh, a nice set of colors and line styles uh, for all the different parts of your table. And here's an example right here in my viewer. I just ran it over this code right here, which created a table with all sorts of different uh, locations, like summaries and footnotes and a header. You can see right here, just by using stop stylize, we get a very nice table as a result. And you can switch the color out if you really want to. Feature four is a new function called tab stub indent. What it allows you to do is to take row labels in the stub and indent them. Uh, before, you could not do that very easily by adding spaces or things like that. Very manual, not so easy. But with tab stub indent, you just give the rows you want to match and you just choose the indent level. You can also use increase or decrease here. It's really quite nice. And I'm just going to run this code and we see that the sizes here are indented by two tab stops, which is really nice. Uh, we selected all these with a matches statement. and um, you can do all sorts of nice things with indentation uh, with tab stub indent. So again, in the feature five, we have a new function called format duration. It's a formatting function and it allows you to take any value. It could be uh, numerical values or it could be uh, diff time values and format them as duration values. This is really quite neat. So I'm gonna show you this in an example here. We have some SP500 data. We're doing some stuff to it. And uh, a main thing we're doing in the time passed column is running the format duration. So let's actually see that in a table. And we can see here that uh, just with the default options or very default defaulty options, we have the time pass column. It's got number of days. It added the days uh, to it, which is quite nice. And we can you know choose things. We can have things like narrow here and rerun the code. And we get things like this. We have a narrow days designation. Uh, so if you have complex times going in the past, this will also work. It will break it down into different time parts, and it looks really great in a table. And because we have these formatting functions in vector uh, formatters now, this also exists as vector format duration. In feature six, we have an upgraded GT save, and it uses WebShot 2. It's a better WebShot. It's a sequel to the WebShot package. And the main thing to know there is that uh, it doesn't use PhantomJS. It uses Kermote. And Kermote is the thing that will take the screenshot of the table. And because of all this, you get better PNG snapshots of your table. And you'll just generally have a better experience. Because before, uh, well, it wasn't so good. You'd have weird things like, uh, well, it, would be, it was blurry for one thing. And also, uh, certain things like bold text did not work at all, uh, which is quite annoying for a lot of people, I can imagine. But now, this fixes it. UGT save in 0 0.7, uh, it just does the trick. In feature seven, we have accessibility improvements for screen readers. So if you use a screen reader, you'll find that tables are read more accurately, especially complex tables. So that's what's in 0 0.7 of GT. Check out the blog post on rstudio.com and also check out the new Twitter account at GT underscore package.